Hi innovators, Dr. Steve Diazio here. Wanted to send this quick message about uh, class. As you know, these are challenging times. Uh, however, I know we are well prepared. Since this is a hybrid class and we talked last time we met what would happen, uh, here's kind of the expectations and outlines for the rest of the semester since USF is going completely online uh, for the remainder of the semester, which only impacts us in a few, for a few meetings. But uh, the due dates are going to stay the same. So I'm looking here on what you guys have to do. One, refre reflection video number three, you know, like the confessionals, you guys know this very well. Uh, that's due March 29th. And then going forward for the remainder of the semester, you guys should be working in your teams virtually, which most of your teams do anyways, um, in order to complete the last few steps including the final presentation. Since we are not meeting, you guys should expect to create a video presentation instead. What does that look like? Well, many of you have taken my other classes and have made video presentations. There are no rules to how to do that, but it needs to be in an MP4 uh, format and uploaded to Canvas so I can view it. So there's many ways to do that. Of course, many of you have done animation in the past for my other classes. You can voice over PowerPoint and turn that into an MP4. You can use Zoom, Blackboard Ultra, any other technology system to make that presentation. Again, we are in business. We are leaders, we are managers, we are an innovator we have to use virtual technology. This is nothing new. So in fact, this is practice for what we need to do in, in industry and uh, going forward. So I know one of you works for uh, sales and distribution for the wine and spirits industry. I don't know how this is impacting your business, but I'd imagine there are some deliverables and sales that you need to make online and virtually. Well, here's how we practice that. Uh, what else is due? Final reflections, which is a written paper. That is not a group level. That means each individual needs to do that. So that doesn't really affect you either because you had to do it anyway. So follow the instructions and submit that. That's due April 19th. Of course, the presentation is due April 26th. Follow the instructions, 10 to 12 minutes, virtual presentation, and upload it before then. I'm happy to meet with you to discuss your presentations uh, between then, we can do a virtual meeting, no problem. And then a uh, last is a reflection uh, video number four, which you guys know this confessional, and this idea of a create your own exam. And the idea is this, we're learning about design thinking, we're learning about innovating, we're learning about touching these tools, touching the methodology. This is a way for you to go back, touch the material, contact with it, uh, think about it, reflect on it, and to create your own exam. It's a different form of uh, learning, a different pedagogy than taking a test, but I think uh, it also it suits our class well. And I want to talk to you about what's going on is very relevant to our project. Our project is about reinventing higher education. You may not know, but you may, or we will hear about in the future, some universities and colleges will close as a result of this situation because they couldn't pivot to online, they couldn't pivot to the future demands or the current demands of the student body, of the trends, the all the different research and trends that we, we've been uh, looking into through over the course of the semester. You know, how to deliver and pivot to new forms and delivery and modes of learning. So in fact, our project couldn't be more relevant under these situations. Don't be surprised if there's a massive decline of people enrolling at USF St. Pete, because we already had a decline, but this is gonna impact us even more. There'll be a few winners. I already know which ones are gonna be big winners uh, in terms of online delivery. My course is that we are completely online, gonna be big, big winners, um, and, and there are a few others. But this could not be more relevant. And this is why we have this challenge. This is why we have this project, because it's not fictional. We, we could not be in a better time to explore and understand the dire needs of how to solve this type of challenge. And we're in the middle of it. We are living 
the actual case. And I believe you guys can rise to the challenge. So again, I'm here with you. I'm willing to meet and take the extra steps. If you're willing to meet and take the extra steps, I'm here with you on this journey. And again, this class isn't impacted that much because we're doing majority of it online, but just the transition of the presentation to making it virtual, which basically you did for the critique for the other, other group. So we'll follow a similar format. I encourage you to be more creative. I encourage you to use the tools of storytelling, rhetoric, and all the design methodology that we, we've covered. But I'm here with you. Feel free to reach out. And again, uh, be safe, but uh, work smarter, not harder. And I know that we're going to crush the remainder of the semester. So signing off for now. I'll be in touch soon.